we use Navalone to treat agitation in patients with moderate to severe Alzheimer's disease. As you probably know, Navalone is a cannabinoid. So it's actually a partial agonist at cannabinoid 1 and 2 receptors. And for that reason, we thought it might be good for agitation in Alzheimer's disease. We know that clinically, when you give these medications to people who, are, who do not have Alzheimer's disease, we see some clinical effects that might be beneficial in this population. You see a calming effect, you see dose-related sedation, but you can keep the dose low and in that way just have the calming effects. We see anti-anxiety effects. We see an increase in appetite, which would be really good in people in the long-term care facility with agitation who tend to have a loss of appetite and a subsequent weight loss. And we see pain effects. So these medications are in part marketed to help with pain, and we know that pain contributes to agitation. So for those reasons, we thought that clinically, Navalone might help with agitated patients in the long-term care facility. There's also reasons that we want to give it in Alzheimer's disease. We know that loss of endogenous cannabinoids is thought to contribute to some of the key mechanisms that are associated with cell death leading to um, loss of gray matter in people with Alzheimer's disease. And these mechanisms are active in late stage Alzheimer's disease. So we know that excitotoxicity is associated with cannabinoid receptor one. So we hope that by giving this drug that uh, binds to cannabinoid receptor one, we can help uh, maintain the mechanisms that deal with excitotoxicity. And cannabinoid 2 receptors are on glial cells, and those are associated with neuroinflammation. So it's thought that by um, stimulating cannabinoid 2 receptors, we might decrease neuroinflammation. So there are theoretical reasons why it actually might be good for the Alzheimer's brain, as well as behavioral reasons that we've seen. Well, what we found when we gave this medication was that we did have a statistically significant decrease in agitation. We use the Cohen-Mansfield agitation inventory as our primary outcome variable and uh, it was a crossover trial so each patient received both Navalone and a placebo and there was a statistically significant decrease in agitation during the Navalone phase compared to the placebo phase. The mean difference between Navalone and placebo was four points on the Cohen-Mansfield but at uh, the end of six weeks if you just do a post hoc analysis there is a 10 point difference on the Cohen-Mansfield and that translates as well as being statistically significant to being clinically significant. We also picked it up on the NPI total score so looking at all the behaviors you don't want to treat agitation and find out that you've made other behaviors worse so other behaviors also improved. We had a statistically significant decrease in caregiver stress as well and um, when we used another scale to measure agitation, the NPI aggression agitation scale, we also found a statistically significant decrease in that scale. So we're finding a very consistent finding of a decrease in agitation with this medication. So we're very excited about that. The other thing you look at when you're giving a medication in a proof of concept trial is the side effects. We did find an increased sedation. We had titrated the dose. Um, how we had a, a dose range that we were targeting. We wanted between one and two milligrams per day. So we tried to titrate up to two milligrams and then we pulled the dose back if we started seeing side effects. So we did see more sedation in the Navalone group compared to the placebo group. So I would caution people that you need to be very careful about sedation. And and we still have questions regarding the cognitive effects, although overall there was a slight um, improvement in the mini mental status examination score in a subgroup of patients who had more severe dementia, we did see some cognitive decline. So we still have questions about what's going on there.